Bem-vindos ao último vídeo da série The Heist, o assalto. Darren já tem os seus quatro escolhidos. Agora basta apenas uns ajustes finais para que eles possam ser convencidos a cometer esse assalto. Eles precisam ter certeza que eles conseguiriam controlar o policial do carro forte. Quer saber mais? Continue assistindo. <música> So this now brings them all up to yesterday afternoon and there are a couple more pieces of the jigsaw puzzle I need to put into place. The motivated state in itself isn't quite enough. So I need to turn it a little more aggressive for them but without ringing any alarm bells. So I have them create a feeling of aggression and attach it to the trigger of a squeezed fist. And you take hold of it in that hand and you anchor it to that feeling of that hand just there squeezing as you take all that aggression. As you move that around and around inside of you, as it doubles and triples and moves around inside of you, building up that feeling. Of Then I have them trigger off the motivated state by rubbing the leg at the same time to combine both states together. You are linking these powerfully and extricably together. Good. And just... They try this a couple of times and are now able to tap into a darker state. And they still feel this is entirely for their benefit. This is your most powerful state that you as a human being can achieve. That's what it does. That's what the music does. That's what the words do. That's what the that green intensity does. All of those things that are triggering this off, that's what you get. How's that? Mental. <laughs> Good. Before the heist itself, one last piece of the puzzle. They need to believe they have it within them to overpower a security guard and to know what to say and how to say it without thinking about it. So without ever mentioning security guards, I teach them an esoteric martial arts exercise where a person can be pushed over using the power of chi. You two are going to find yourself being pushed over, uh, knocked backwards, being forced off your feet. This will serve as a powerful experience for them, a resource for them to draw from tomorrow when they come across our security guard in the city. Uh, Victoria and Phil, Vicky and Phil, what you're going to do is, when I tell you to, you're going to start to create that state inside of yourself and you build it to a peak. When you reach that peak, the only instruction I want you to give are just the words down on the floor. Just those words alone, they're going to carry the full weight of, of that emotional state that's behind it. Okay, just do it now, just get into that state. Just start to build that up inside of you now. feel it peak, just say those words down on the floor now, that's all you say, and you keep it focused and you push, and you push those two back. Down in alley, try not to let it push you over. Keep pushing back against it. Just pushing. Down on the floor. Now of course it's not chi or energy at all. In reality, the person expecting to fall over succumbs to the suggestion and topples off balance. But the people apparently pushing come to believe that they have a powerful and invincible state to tap into. Down on the floor. That's what I want them to believe. I felt very tense. It was almost as if I could physically push him without actually touching him. Saying uh, down on the floor was like passing the energy across. Um, Like, a, like throwing it, throwing something at them. What I felt was just this sort of invisible energy, just, it, you know, it was a really, it sort of just, it just sort of crashed against my chest. You followed every aspect of the persuasion process from the last couple of weeks. A certain phrase, a certain colour, a certain piece of music have been used to induce a state of wanton recklessness and aggression and a just-do-it attitude. Other factors also support the process. The titles on the screen and the language used at the seminar. The supposedly subliminal CDs which left them feeling malleable. The toy plastic gun which romanticizes the idea of a criminal. The green security van. The animosity felt towards a security man in a green uniform already who happened to be wearing the same badge as our guard in the street. Finally, the oil painting of a security van hidden on the wall at the seminar. Everything should now be in place. 
So if you missed the start of the show, this is Gresham Street in the city of London. The Bank of England is just down there. We have a fake security van, a fake security guard, and £100,000 of real money. There are 15 cameras watching this area. We have no idea what's going to happen or if anything's going to happen, but we just hope to cover it as best as we can. You have followed every aspect of the persuasion process uh, so far. Nothing has been added or taken away. It is the linking of certain emotional states uh, to certain triggers, piece of music, uh, colour, certain words and so on. Our participants have no idea that they're going to be filmed or that anything has been set up and we don't know what they're going to do. This is nothing we've been able to rehearse and if it doesn't work we will just show it to you not working four times in a row. There's really no way of knowing. This whole area has been cordoned off from the public and is being supervised by the police. Our four subjects have been told to expect a phone call and that they'll have to travel into the City of London for a final motivational session. Hey, how are you doing? It's Darren. Hello. Uh, just about to pick you up. There's a car just around the corner that's going to come and get you, so if you can uh, grab your stuff. And I will see you in a bit. I think the car's going to drop you just down the road, so you've got to walk up the last bit by yourself. As with every day, you know, as I say time and time again, this is about every day finding some opportunity to experience something that makes you feel great and exhilarated, yeah? So you know, make that decision to steal yourself and grab the opportunity to make all this work really, really pay off. It's just about standing in the face of security in life, isn't it, and making it do what you want it to do. Because ultimately, I suppose all of this is about you knowing that you're the one with the weapon of absolute pointed, aggressive, unquestioning power. They're also told to bring with them their toy guns that they were given at the seminar. All of our cameras and crew are well hidden. None can be seen by our four subjects. Targets in zone one. All cameras locked in position. Stand by car. Now remember that two weeks ago, Victoria was an ordinary businesswoman, a press officer at a motivational seminar. Go trigger music in the car. Now, help you. I think she get on the floor. Don't she? Don't she? On the floor. Stand by car. Go car. Cue music. But uh, this is a hold up. Get down on the floor. Get down on the floor. On your front, on your front. Move back up. On your front. Okay, don't move. Hands on your head. Move! Get away! 
away, get off, get off. It's okay, Phil, it's Darren. Okay. Alright? <sighs> what happened? Why did you do that? I saw the guy coming out of the thing, I don't know. It was like just before I don't know, it was just something coming out. It was just like a split sending light when I'm playing rugby if I've got an important match or something. Yeah. Um it's like a hundred times better. Come with me, come with me. Okay. Getting out the car now, getting out the car now. Excuse me, mate. Put down the put down. Put down. Get down on the floor. Down on the floor. Down on the you floor. Ain't do it. On your on your front. You. On your front. On your front. Right over. Right over. Stop looking at me. Right over. Stop looking. Face front. Look forward. Look forward. Look forward. I tell you what, mate. You try anything, you're dead, all right? Look forward, mate. Oh, I'll fucking put it in this. Look forward. Look forward. Mate, if you move, I swear to God, you're dead, mate. If you've got family... Danny. Just okay. All right. Okay, take a moment. <laughs> okay, come with me. Gonna make sure you're okay. All right? Yeah, come with me. Stealing sweets is one thing, but stealing boxes of money from the Bank of England is a completely different kettle of fish. I'm a good person. <laughs> I'm a good person. 
You good? <laughs> no, Mr. Oh, yeah? All right, would you put yourself up on that bed there for me, please? Okay. Close your eyes for me. As you start to undo the aggression, or as you start to undo those aspects of it that would have led you to hold up a security man, all that goes on. distance to just take from it everything is good. The last couple of weeks have been the most fun I've had in ages. It's been brilliant. I've taken away a sense of power, a sense of achievement, a sense that anything is possible really. It's a really amazing experience, something that I can kind of look back on and think about how I was able to really push myself and perhaps I'll be able to do that from now on, I think. I realise now that I'm a lot stronger willed than I thought I was. And the fact that I didn't go through with the steel itself, I'm very pleased with myself. I think the last couple of weeks have been an absolute roller coaster. It's been such a positive experience and I'm on an absolute high at the moment back to normal, just like you were before, except for all the good stuff that you want to take with you, which you've now created and created for yourself. And that's a way of thanking you for everything that you've done. Espero que tenham gostado de mais uma série legendada do nosso canal Super Memória. E, curiosamente, das quatro pessoas, uma não quis assaltar o carro forte. Eu deixo para vocês a dúvida. Será que Derren Brown manipulou o resultado e sabia que no mentalismo a gente requer um pouco de falha para dar veracidade, para dar ar de relevância para aquilo que aconteceu? Ou será que realmente aconteceu desse jeito? Espero que tenham gostado do vídeo. Escreva nos comentários a sua opinião. Clique, gostou? Clique em gostei. Compartilhe com seus amigos. Inscreva-se no canal e até a próxima. Obrigado por assistir a mais esse vídeo. Quer aprender mais sobre hipnose? Inscreva-se no nosso canal. Ou então, clique aqui e assista o vídeo. Até a próxima.